Oke, okay, halo selamat siang semua sahabat volunteer corner Mitra Wajana uh, Saat ini kita mau podcast lagi setelah minggu kemarin libur Jadi minggu ini kita uh, apa mau podcast lagi Masih bersama Nahian dari Australia Jadi kita nanti akan ngobrol-ngobrol soal hal menarik Soal pemberdayaan perempuan Tapi Uh, ada kasus khusus Wah ini kasus khususnya dari Bangladesh Yang sosoknya sebenarnya cukup terkenal di dunia Nggak tahu kalau di Indonesia dikenal apa enggak Namanya Muhammad Yunus uh, Dia uh, pendiri Grayman Bank uh, Lalu dapat Nobel uh, Sejauh mana kita bisa ngobrol-ngobrol nih Nanti kita bisa bandingkan dengan di Indonesia kayak apa Di Australia seperti apa selain di Bangladesh ya masih dengan bahasa Inggris ya kita sambil belajar bahasa Inggris uh, little little bahasa Inggris <laughs> oke okay, uh, hello Nahian you hear me hi Mas Sugang yes I can hear you oke okay. uh, good afternoon ya ini ya uh, yeah, Nahian yeah. good afternoon selamat siang selamat siang oke okay. Nahian uh, We are going to discuss about ini ya, Graham Bank ya, Graham yeah. Bank, Muhammad Yunus and the apa uh, empowerment movement, uh, woman empowerment movement. We, karena ini uh, because uh, Graham and Man, Graham and Bank is very famous <coughs> apa a company uh, apa. company uh, woman to reduction of poverty ya yeah. and I think it is uh, apa good uh, to discuss about that okay Nahian uh, <coughs> maybe you can introduce yourself just uh, apa name and where whoever in the last podcast uh, maybe some uh, people know but you can introduce yourself first too And still uh, in host with Arif Sugeng Widodo. I am to this myself too. <laughs> okay, uh, Nahian, uh, you can start uh, and apa? Maybe you can share about the apa? Grayman Bank, Muhammad Yunus, and apa? Empower woman empowerment uh, like that with Grayman Bank. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Masogang. Um, so, selamat siang, everyone. I'm currently doing this from Perth, Western Australia. Um, for those of you who couldn't join in the last podcast, I'm uh, essentially doing, um, I'm volunteering for Mitra Vachana um, through the Teachers Program. And as Masogang mentioned, um, we'll be talking about um, Grameen Bank today. Um, I am originally originally from Bangladesh. I was born there. And um, so I feel like uh, this would be sort of a, a relevant topic for me as well. So, and hopefully I'll be able to contribute a little bit on it. So, yeah. That's uh, what we'll be discussing today. Okay, thank you, Nahan. Yeah, uh, uh, we know that uh, Muhammad Yunus is uh, very famous in the world, yeah, because he got a uh, Nobel Prize, and uh, the movement is very inspiring many people, many country. to do apa same like that and how to empowerment uh, apa uh, people uh, poverty people especially uh, in the case of Grammen Bank is w- w- woman empowerment and that uh, some case I have apa read the book about the Grammen Bank uh, about Muhammad Yunus too uh, I will I read that uh, some the case in the past when Muhammad Yunus, apa? Uh, because he he's a lecturer, yeah? he's lectures economic lectures, yeah, and yeah. Uh, a macro economics lecture. And when uh, they look around in the apa in the environment of the apa university. he looks 
many apa uh, family or a woman's uh, that apa trapped in the poverty and he he asks uh, to apa ya her, her himself ya that uh, I I learn uh, economics but what can I do to change it like that change the situation like that and he do something like he do something however he learns macros economic and but how how it is apa useful or not like that and he make the apa gramen bank apa the system that give a trust with a uh, woman uh, to apa ya develops the economics uh, apa system like that and uh, because the bank uh, generally uh, didn't trust uh, the poverty people uh, to give loan like that and yeah it is uh, make the system the poverty will apa, be trapped in the poverty in the long time long time like that and apa uh, Muhammad Yudus change the perspective and it is very apa ya uh, apa genuine that and apa ya applicative in the system and we can learn about that and I think uh, Nahian can share about how uh, the Grammar Bank works like that and the history maybe uh, it is uh, apa ya to inspiring the others and we can s- compare to ya uh, maybe in Australia and maybe in Indonesia we can discuss about that too okay Nahian maybe apa Uh, it is uh, your time. <laughs> time is yours, yeah. Time is yours, boy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're very, you're absolutely correct. Grammin Bank is a, a wonderful um, uh, program that was initiated by um, Muhammad Yunus. Um, as you mentioned, he is a lecturer. Um, uh, of, and he studied economics in the U.S., I believe, and he moved back to Bangladesh. And um, he was he was just sharing his knowledge about economics. And um, he, I guess, was um, he thought that's not enough. He thought, what more can he do with his with the um, knowledge that he's acquired, and how can he help the people in Bangladesh? And so, um, Grameen Bank is essentially a microfinance organization and community development bank founded in Bangladesh, um, the capital of Bangladesh. Bangladesh and Taka. And um, the essential idea of it is that it makes small loans to the impover- impoverished without requiring any guarantee or collateral. So I guess um, anyone who's taken out a loan from a bank would know what this uh, collateral collateral is. It's essentially um, any kind of, uh, I guess, property or item that you sign off um, in case you cannot repay that loan. And um, these malls that he made were known as microcredit or uh, Grameen credit. credit. Um, so in 1974, this was like right at the beginning, um, he noticed that poor women specifically in um, his neighbor village, in one of his neighbor villages, were being exploited by money lenders. So um, even when they would um, uh, borrow money, they would be, you know, uh, hassled, like har- harassed for it sometimes or most of the times if they couldn't uh, return it and they would be charged extremely high levels of interest for it, interest rates. And so someone who's already, um, you know, uh, experiencing poverty, it's going to be even more difficult for them to repay that with such high amounts of interest rate. And so Muhammad Yunus essentially may have started off uh, making um, a small loan of $27 um, to 42 people. So as you can see, like it's not even $1 per person. Very, very small. And I think I was watching one of his interviews and he said he didn't think that it would turn into such a big success that it is today because he just wanted to do something because he, you know, what he saw, he didn't like, um, especially to to the women. Um, and so he made this small loan, but um, and he signed off that loan without um, charging them any uh, collateral, like any high amounts of interest. 
And so, um, yeah, he thought, you know, that's fine. He would do it under his name. It's completely fine. But he realized that those people that he made the loan to, they were able to repay him. And so he thought this could really go somewhere. This could, you know, um, not just be a way to, um, like, it's not just giving out money, but it could really help out the community in Bangladesh. Like, many people can be benefited by this, especially the people from, um, you know, uh, who are probably experiencing poverty or from low socioeconomic background. Um, you know, it's not just women in this case, it's um, even young people or old people who don't have any guarantee, like, you know, they can't... Um, they don't they can't sign on to collaterals like they can't they can't uh, afford to have a high interest or the banks wouldn't trust them to give out the loans it's for any people like that and so over the years um Grameen bank became a very successful um uh, i guess program um and it started to gain attention and get support um from the bangladesh bank as well and um, however it did experience a bit of setback um in 1998 due to the flood and um, it took a long time to recover but by the beginning of 2005 the bank had loaned over um, 4.7 billion dollars US dollars and by the end of 2008 um, 7.6 billion US dollars to people from you know um, either low socioeconomic background or experiencing poverty so um, yeah I mean that's just a very brief history um, from what I've heard uh, from my parents and also a bit of research. Um, it's an extremely um, useful uh, program that was started by uh, Yunus Ali, uh, sorry, Muhammad Yunus, and um, it's helped millions of people in Bangladesh and continues to help them. And so, uh, yeah, it's uh, very, very, very useful, very beneficial. Okay, and Grammar Bank, it's meaning it is a village? It is Bengali words or what? Grammar Bank? Grammon. Uh, Grammon Bank. Um, honestly, I'm not too sure. I think uh, it's it means community development development bank. So not really village bank, but like yeah, a, a bank to support people from like um, people from like poor communities, like people who can't afford to take loans, essentially. Okay, and. Uh about apa ya uh, it is uh, em- woman empowerment ya yeah. woman empowerment that i'm interested at apa discuss about eh, apa the muhammad yunus uh, thought that if woman uh, apa the bank give woman uh, a trust and uh, they can apa uh, uh, pay in the loans like that uh, apa uh, uh, give back the loans uh, and because the bank uh, it, it, apa ya many many bank maybe ya yeah, uh, if didn't have like guarantee guarantee uh, it is very apa yeah, apa difficult to give a loan but apa Muhammad Yunus make yeah again the guarantee is group like that the guarantee when and they apa uh, apa got the loan uh, the guarantee is the group uh, and it is make uh, the group that apa uh, apa uh, uh, two uh, apa five or maybe six apa uh, members uh, they want the apa uh, the others member uh, get apa not difficult to get a loan they must apa try hard to make the loan is apa back to Grammon Bank it is much responsibilities to make the loan is very useful like that and yeah. yeah what do you think about uh it is about trust uh trust that uh the poverty apa, without the guarantee uh but apa, give the the trust like that what do you think about uh that it is like social trust like that i think it is yeah. uh apa 
uh, interested, I think. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, before I answer that, I just want to correct myself. So, Masugan, you said Gramin means village. That's actually correct. Um, the first part of Gramin, Gram, means village. So, yes, it is um, inspired by, uh, because he lent out money to people from the village, it is inspired by that. Um, uh, essentially village, so Grammin Bank. Yeah, sorry about that. That was my mistake. Um, but in terms of the trust uh, factor, um, you're absolutely right. It's It was really built on trust because when Muhammad Yunus signed off that loan to those 42 people, um, he didn't, you know, have them, that, that loan was made without any collateral or any high amounts of interest or any interest at all. So he signed it off based on, with, with just, you know, trust like that these people would get back to him um, because he genuinely just wanted to help them out and so he, re he and, and after after they they were able to utilize that money he did get the money back the money was returned to him and so he saw that you know it's okay to you know give them like sign off the loans and give these people loans because they they're use, using it for good causes and to you know make a living and um they they will get back to him and so this whole organization is really just built on trust and it's a very rare thing to find these days because everything requires you know um proof and you know having something in return but that's i think what makes muhammad yunus very different that he just wanted to help people and he didn't care about getting the money back he just wanted to help them out and so um but he genu genuinely saw that this could lead to something bigger so that he can you know do ca carry out the same thing with more people and so yeah this whole thing is built around trust um and i guess um people because they're getting so much help um with really any cost behind it they're naturally going to eventually um return the money i guess and so that's what has happened over the years and it's been very successful so um you're absolutely correct it's very much built around social trust Yeah, and uh, once again about uh, apa ya the concept. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm interesting too. Uh, I, I'm interested to that uh, the concept that if uh, the bank, the banks, many banks that uh, mm -hmm. give loan uh, for the big uh, entrepreneur or big uh, private sector and not give change apa change the apa uh, the apa uh, the puffer the poverty people uh, it is make the apa ya yeah, like yeah people that uh, apa the poverty people yeah still will be a poverty people because they can access the apa loan cannot develop the apa uh, economic activity because the apa minimize or uh, minim minimize to access the some loan but the big apa corporate for example is very easy to get loan and nah it is uh, the max uh, agreement bank is different in the concept uh, because It is a chain, uh, the world, the the economic that, uh, yeah, the function of bank if keep uh, chain that many people can develop uh, their self like that, and if the poverty people cannot uh, access to develop their uh, economic activity, how how can they can apa ya apa uh like apa ya yeah, go outside uh, from poverty like that it is will the situation will same like that nah it is make a different how uh apa agreement bank is change the concept they give the apa change that yeah uh poverty people must get apa change to change their life like that nah it is very apa i think it is the fundamental concept i think like that yeah i agree i think um you raised a very good point i think 
in banks in many countries, especially Bangladesh, they're scared that if we give loans to poor people, they're not going to return it. And that's, that's all they focus on. But what they don't realise is that these people are contributing to the economy. And if you do want to have a healthy, strong economy, then it's important that these people also make a contribution. Um, and these people want to make a contribution. They're trying to work, they're trying to make a living. And in, in order to do that, sometimes just to start that process, they need the initial help, the initial financial help. And to do that, they're, they're seeking out help to these banks. However, with most banks, because they have these all these elaborate processes and procedures of you know um, collaterals and interests most of the time they don't trust you know people from like people who are poor to give give out loans to them um, and that includes you know young people old people women men all of them and so they're only hurting the economy of their own country because without the loan these people are probably not able to initiate their business or not able to start their work and so they're kind of once again trapped within the poverty um so if they really just had like the trust in them um kind of like what Grammin bank does um then i feel like more and more people would have the opportunity to actually try and see if they can um, make something out of it and um, a good example would be like farmers farmers you know it's very difficult for them because in you know during different seasons it could work in their favor for some seasons and other seasons it could work completely against their favor like floods for example um, and they completely rely on you know their crops and, and and what they harvest and what they grow to make a living um, so sometimes to just start that initial process they need they would need money right they would need the financial help and so someone who's just a farmer or um from a village big banks are not going to trust him you know to with with a loan um they, they, he doesn't have any um property to uh, show us evidence that you know if he can't uh, return the money then they could you know potentially have the property like they he doesn't have those things so he doesn't get that loan so he's kind of stuck he doesn't get to make a living he doesn't get to you know carry out his um his work or his business and so um that's where Grammin bank comes in and um obviously one bank it cannot help all the people especially in bangladesh with the poverty rate being very very high um it obviously cannot help everyone but at least it's it's a start you know and it's obviously been very very successful has helped millions if not um you know more um it, it's given those people from low socioeconomic background a chance and a lot of them have been able to do great work with the loan that's been given out to them and they've proven that you know they can be trustworthy and and they can make a, a good you know anything like a business or work out of the money that's been given to them and then they return it and so i wish more banks and just organizations in general follow the same idea and philosophy that Grammin bank does because that way they would be helping each other they would be helping the country's economy um in, to flourish and grow and be helping the people from their communities essentially okay and now on the upper status and the at uh, the bank a uh, grammin bank is about and the government bank yeah are what are still i ever read that government uh but change the status is government bank yeah grammin banks i think it might be i'm not a hundred percent sure like uh it's headquarters in taka and uh yeah i'm just having a look online um it doesn't say much or i can't really find much um it just says it's a body corporate and uh yeah that's it so i'm not too sure actually um i'm sorry about that i have to look into that okay okay and uh what do you think uh maybe uh well however it is the different situation yeah uh in australia uh with bangladesh uh the concept of the grammar bank is apa is apa some people known about that or not because in indonesia yeah the concept is very apa uh many people known the concept yeah maybe 
uh, not many people know the Grammin Bank or Mamat Yunus, but the concept uh, apa yeah is practicing in in here like that. However, maybe not like uh, systematically like uh, uh, Grammin Bank, but the system practices it small apa uh, institution the bank uh, like a bank like that. And mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can share in, the, in Australia the the Grammin Bank concept. It is many people know about that. Yeah. Um. So in Australia, the situation is a bit different because the poverty rates are very different compared to Bangladesh. Yeah. Um. In Australia, it's um. I don't know how to describe it, but most it's most people are from like a middle class um, background, and so the loan system kind of reflects that ref- reflects the population and so um, I can tell from personal experience that when my family was um, we bought a house a few years ago and uh, when we applied for the loan um, at a bank um, most banks I think I believe have the same procedure um, they look at the person taking out the loan they look at their job status and what kind of job they're doing um, and depending on their job and depending on their salary they would either approve the loan or disprove the loan um, and that also depends on whether the partner like either the husband or the wife if they have a job as well and um, if they see that uh, like an ideal situation when you're taking out loan for a house would be like both the like the husband and the wife is working and um, you know if they're both working regardless of what like status of job it is um, if it's if they're both working to some capacity the mo- loan would most likely be um, approved and um, the loans are usually taken on the basis of like 30 years so you have 30 years to um, give back the loan and um, obviously with high interest rates so the interest rate is the same that doesn't change but um, the main main thing is that you know it, the whether they grant the loan or not that depends on the person's job status and um, their salary as well and so um, for me it's only my dad who works and so uh, we looked at a few houses where you know it, we applied for the loan and they disproved it and they said if you only had your partner working as well we would have approved it so um, I think the concept of Grammin Bank is very um, you know if, far far away in Australia I think and again I might be wrong maybe they do practice it in some places but um, speaking from personal experience with you know I guess in the in terms of finding a house um, my family um, when what they experience I think you know Gram and Bank and and that um, you know just just giving it a loan on the base of trust I think that that's maybe not as well exercised or even that much of a common idea here um, it's again mainly based on just um, like you know your job status your uh whether your partner's working or if you can show property or stuff like that so yeah i think it's mainly along those lines kind of similar to what most banks are doing nowadays um australia would probably fall in the same category as well okay uh before we discuss about the impact of apa yeah uh the apa uh women empowerment uh mm-hmm. because it is related with apa the independence that uh, some uh, situation in in family that if uh, woman apa, wife and husband some uh, husband do like apa, some violence uh, to woman but because the wife depends in economic and they cannot do anything like that nah mm-hmm. I, it is uh inter apa interested to discuss but maybe after we break because we will break for a while uh uh, mm-hmm. uh apa, to yeah uh, discuss it again okay uh, yeah. nahian uh, uh we can break maybe just three three minutes yeah or four min- four minutes Uh, we can look the apa iklan <laughs> advertise ad, advertisement or advertise <laughs> Adver- advertisement advertisement okay just uh, three or f- four minute okay nahian
Waalaikumsalam. Eh, ono apa ya mas? Kok rame-rame ini? Lho, kan ini waya syuting. Oh ya Allah, aku lali. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi pemirsa. Kali ini saya akan memberikan tips dan trik buat kalian cara menjaga kesehatan mental di saat pandemi COVID-19 ini. Seyo mas, aku tak nganggu sepatu dulu. Teman-teman tahu nggak sih menjaga kesehatan mental pada saat pandemi COVID-19 ini sangat penting loh. Ada beberapa hal yang dapat menyebabkan gangguan kesehatan mental, seperti rasa ketakutan atau rasa cemas kita akan adanya wabah, dan rasa jenuh, Saat karantina, kemudian banyaknya informasi yang simpang siur dan belum tentu jelas dan faktanya. Gak jarang itu semua dapat mengganggu kecemasan serta mengganggu kesehatan fisik dan mental. Nah, apa aja sih langkah-langkah yang harus dilakukan untuk mengatasi kesehatan mental pada saat COVID-19 ini? Yuk ikutin terus! Yang pertama yaitu selalu melakukan aktivitas fisik. Seperti olahraga, melakukan peregangan, dan latihan pernafasan yang membantu kita untuk menenangkan diri atau merilekskan. Dan jangan lupa berjemur di bawah sinar matahari ya untuk meningkatkan imun tubuh kita. Nah, buat teman-teman, tips yang kedua yaitu selalu mengonsumsi dan memperbanyak makanan yang bergizi. Asupan nutrisi yang cukup juga dapat menjaga kesehatan mental loh, baik secara langsung maupun tidak langsung. Nah, tips yang ketiga, kalian selalu menggunakan waktu luang untuk kegiatan yang bermanfaat, seperti membaca buku. Selanjutnya, tips yang keempat, bijaklah kalian dalam memilih informasi yang dibaca. Jangan sampai informasi yang kalian baca membuat merasa cemas dan takut akan adanya pandemi COVID-19 ini. Atur waktu kamu untuk menonton film, membaca, dan mendengarkan berita mengenai pandemi COVID-19. Meski begitu, jangan menutup diri sepenuhnya dari informasi yang penting ya. Dan jangan lupa, dapatkan informasi mengenai pandemi dari sumber yang terpercaya. Iya Bu, Assalamualaikum, sehat-sehat selalu ya Nah tips yang terakhir yaitu selalu menjaga komunikasi dengan keluarga maupun kerabat dekat Berikut tips dari saya untuk teman-teman selalu jaga kesehatan dimanapun dan kapanpun Terima kasih, see you, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oke, okay. we meet again, <laughs> we meet again. Uh, Oke, okay, nah Yan, we uh, continue the dialogues, the discussion. <laughs> the, 
yeah related with the concept that about uh, apa make independently in economic uh, in woman uh, woman in in a family because some case uh, related with the domestic violence for example uh, uh, many uh, domestic violence happen and happen again continuously in long time that because uh, apa the situation is a uh, woman depends uh, in economic with the husband and the husband yeah uh, too many uh, domestic violence like that and the concept of the diamond bank uh, give the trust about uh, apa woman to do the something in economic activity it is related to with the in some place sometime a uh, woman uh, apa forbidden to apa activity in outside like that uh, it is the concept is apa ya uh, the the grammar men concept have uh, many impact i think they uh, mm. not just about uh, the economics apa uh, sector but many many apa ya many sector that involve this concept uh, yeah uh, for example the the case of the independence in eco- uh, apa uh, ec- woman in economic uh, family like that and how to reduce the domestic violence too. now how how uh, what do you think about it yeah um, and so with Grammon Bank um, it, a huge part of it focuses on trying to get women out of poverty um, and trying to make women um, financially independent as well and a big reason for that is um, in many um, I guess Eastern cultures or Eastern countries like Bangladesh um, women are not viewed as equals as with men I guess um, they they still aren't allowed to make decisions um, or cannot be included in the decision making process um, whether that's with inside the house or outside the house a lot of a lot of women are not even allowed to work they're kind of just expected to be housewives and just do house duty chores and all that um, so Graham and Bank really does focus on that aspect and trying tries hard to you know not perpetuate the issue but actually you know be part of the solution and they try and help women be financially stable and if you know there's plenty of women who want to get out of their lives and want to make something big out of it you know actually have a fresh start um, start their own business or just work and grow and bank with the whole idea of giving out loans without you know any um, with with just based on trust um, they they also follow the same idea with women um, especially recognizing that women are very vulnerable they or have probably already experienced a lot or are experiencing something horrible currently and they keep that in mind and try to help them um, financially and also you know maybe in other ways too but um, Grammar Bank, one of the, it, you know, it, it's one aspect that it really focuses on is empowering women and helps them get out of poverty and, you know, mainly through encouraging them to work and actually, you know, start their, um, either start their own business or just be become financially independent. Yeah. I, I ever read about, yeah, it, it is... I think the goods apa ya the story I think uh, I forget uh, it is from the book about the Grammon Bank or the other books about when um, the bank uh, apa give a loan uh, to a man and woman is uh, so different uh, I think it is the the simulation of uh, when the start of Grammon Bank uh, 
when they give a loan in men it is very difficult to apa apa get back the money again uh, mm. it is very a long apa uh, time to get the money back it is situation that difficult if they apa give uh, to the men but when they give the apa the loans to the woman and the situation is different uh, mm. I, i read the book that uh, the calculation yeah uh, that if the woman uh, got the trust they can uh, trust it like that they can be trusted like that and it is the situation apa uh, the base that Kremen bank dare to make the decision yeah we want to apa uh, apa uh, uh, empower the a uh, woman uh, especially in the poverty situation like that now it is uh, i ever read uh, that that yeah i think it is the situation uh, maybe same in this uh, in the some place like that but it is the concept is not just like apa ya yeah? not like yeah i just want uh, this like that but based a data it is like have a data that oh yeah the the decision to apa uh, make uh, apa uh, apa or give the woman in poverty society it the big decision with apa uh, apa that Kremen bank uh, do like that Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I think one interesting point was the difference in men and women and how they are treated when it comes to getting the loan back. Um, I think I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the podcast how um, when Muhammad Yunus started the bank, um, wanted to give out the loans. He noticed that in the neighbor village, the women were being um, like, I forgot, but. Uh, the women were um, being exploited uh, by the money lenders, right? And so yeah. I guess the people who lend out the money, they target on women specifically because they know they're vulnerable and they know that they don't have a lot of support behind them because they're already in a vulnerable situation, um, whether at home or outside. They're just not going to have a lot of support behind them. So they're more um, more of a target and they, they know that and they specifically target women and they keep like you know exploiting them you know harass them to get the money back whereas as you said men for men it might be a bit bit of a different case men it's a bit harder to do they're not as vulnerable and um, you know it's 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 a lot harder to exploit them compared to um, compared to women and so um, the Grammin Bank I, I feel like it was started with the idea of you know making women one of its focus like we're, we're trying to help women get out of poverty and um, help them become financially independent and so they they recognize that women are vulnerable especially in Bangladesh and so they don't want to exploit that they don't want to make that issue worse um, they want to be part of the solution and so yeah women Uh, they, they focus on women a lot. They try and help them, um, you know, they don't try and see, oh, can women really make good decisions? They trust them. They know that women would do something great out of this and they probably would be greatly benefited by the money because it will probably help them get out of the uh, situation that they're in. And so, um, yeah, it's uh, that's a good point. Like men and women would probably be treated differently when it comes to getting the money back and uh, Grumman Bank recognizes it and tries to make a positive impact rather than a negative one. Yeah. Okay. And about uh, in Indonesia, I think uh, the concept of the Grameen Bank, some uh, financial institution like that or organization like that, uh, practicing the concept of the Grameen Bank in many mm-hmm. places, that it it works. Uh, apa? It's very good. Uh, we know some some apa financial institution do that and in the apa in the small society in the villages like that or in the mar- traditional market it practicing but yeah in because in here in 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 Yogyakarta uh, because i know apa and the situation 
in the traditional market many women is works in traditional market if uh, we look around in the traditional market we will look many women that apa yeah active in the economic uh, activity like that as a uh, apa a uh, seller like that as a consumer yeah it is very apa uh, economic is grow uh, grow up very well because in economic mm. that activity is woman too uh, in outside not just in the home like that and it happened mm. because when i i was child uh, the situation is same in traditional market a woman sh- do apa many activity economic activity like that in the market in the apa farmer as a farmer uh, as a apa seller or what if we have a store like that <laughs> fisherman pardon you mean like fisherman like um is that what you mean by sailor like fisherman oh ah, yeah yeah is that different? yeah it's like that and Yeah, and many uh, economic activities do uh, by uh, women in sm- uh, in many place. That, but sometimes uh, if we discuss in some, apa ya, maybe in apa, yeah, in the forum, in in the informal forum that uh, maybe many men in there and the men uh, yeah said that yeah uh, like a man is the the person that every apa ya yeah, economics responsibility is apa a man do that however in practicing woman is do very well and in many activity like that yeah uh in in japanese we we know that uh, apa the concept that woman just in home in the in the back is like the kitchen like that uh in japanese we said uh apa nam hmm, ka, kasur sumur dapur kasur is in the uh, in the bed and the apa in the yeah in its room uh, our our room prefet kasur pet ya yeah, pet i think pet in kitchen and the uh, sumur is a dapur is uh, kitchen and sumur is in the water shorts shorts like that it is mm-hmm. to represent that woman work just in there however the practicing not like that many women do in the outset in the past yeah in in I, i mean in the traditional concept whoever it is the concept dapur sumur and apa dap uh, bed, bedroom like that and kitchen and the air source it is the traditional concept too but the practicing woman do apa many activity in the outset too they works very well in the outset in as a farmer as a yeah in the traditional market in the apa the sell something in there like that and uh, i don't know in bangladesh maybe it is still any apa ya yeah, the concept that the gender equality gender equity in the concept Uh, sometimes still happen that yeah uh, it is the men's uh, must more apa, give the big responsibility re- responsibilities like that than woman also I don't know uh, maybe you can share it uh, about it yeah um, in Bangladesh um, I've seen both men and women get out, get out um, in the field like you know be farmers or be fishermen, fishermen, or um, any sort of physical labor, both men and women tend to do it, um, especially from, you know, impo- impoverished areas. Uh, women, they also have to, like, kind of 
contribute, like um, either help with the fit family business or going out and finding work for themselves. Um, it's very hard, obviously, because like even with that work, it's probably not enough. Um, however, like men would a lot of the times be expected to do um, a lot of like the hard physical labor work, and women would probably be, probably um, work inside the house or work as maids in other people's house like that's also very common um but yeah it is like more and more encouraged that women are working and they are you know um now being allowed to work i guess um but yeah i think it's when it comes to people uh, from the impoverished areas um both men and women tend to work nowadays quite a lot because having one person doing the work is just not sufficient to make a living for the whole family yeah yeah sometimes i just want to say that uh sometimes the barrier of uh the concept like the the grammar bank do is about the gender perspective too because uh it is related because yeah uh German bank uh, encourage to people uh, about women do something economic activity maybe do activity in the outset and if the concept uh, the gender equality is not clear yeah it is many barrier in there maybe it's many conflict mm-hmm. in there too yeah the, the situation is not just i have money uh, you apa uh, need money i give you is apa finish no it is uh, many situation the social situation that mm-hmm. wa uh, yeah many apa ya yeah, barrier that i think gram gram bank should succeed to to apa to solve this problem because now the apa uh, we know the Grammar Bank spreading in many apa many place I think in 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 Bangladesh, Bangladesh because uh, the people many join in there and yeah I think it is maybe I can say that Grammar Bank give the thoughts that uh, women can do something that make men in their oh yeah yeah it's it's uh, women can do economic activity that uh, if uh, we trust them are not apa apa uh, trust about the barrier they can develop very well like that Nah, it is. I think, yeah, it is a good good concept. Uh, because sometimes if we walk in the community, and the situation is, uh, the barrier is in the social perspective. Uh, it is need the long time to to mm-hmm. solve this like that. Yeah, that's very true. I think Grammar Bank has started the conversation has started um the process of it uh encouraging women and um like letting us uh showing us that women if we give them the chance they can do something uh either just as good as men or even better and so um yeah grammar bank has definitely started that but um there a long way to go because it'll uh not obviously not the whole country has um adapted that idea um and it will take a long time Um, before we all kind of let women have that go, um, get, let them have that opportunity because um, in many communities or many areas within Bangladesh, women are still not treated the same and are not, you know, don't have the permission to work and all or earn money for themselves. And even if they do earn the money, they have to contribute it for the family and not get to keep anything for herself. And so, um, yeah, a long way to go. But Grammar Bank has definitely started that that um, movement, I guess, that idea. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. What else we want to discuss? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about uh, apa ya? Uh, the spreading the concept. I mean, 
in education uh, in school for example uh, many people know that uh, or maybe your your experience when you wash apa live in there apa the concept of the gender equality like that it is mm-hmm. uh, is apa ya yeah. it's pronounced uh, in the for the student or not uh, in s- and because it is related uh, about uh, the concept uh, in Grammen Bank and student know or not about the Grammen Bank and the concept about the gender equality in there like that yeah um well everyone in Bangladesh more or less are aware of Grammen Bank because Grammen Bank has like runs plenty of ads in uh, TV like um, like the ads we see on TV like Grammen uh, Bank runs a lot of those so everyone is more or less aware of Grammen Bank but how Grammen Bank is having an um, such a great influence in gender equality um, maybe that is not not that discussed you know from at least from when i was back there um it i think the poverty factor is discussed more that you know it's helping people get out of poverty and helping them get jobs or start their own businesses and just make a living that aspect is focused more um but in terms of gender equality i think not as much um it'll be briefly touched upon but Um, I wish more people did uh, talk about it and I guess I might, I might be wrong as well because I haven't been in Bangladesh in like almost eight years now so I don't know how the conversation um, is in Bangladesh but um, back when I was there I hadn't personally heard too much about it. I think poverty was more of a topic of discussion than gender equality. Okay, okay, uh, Nyayan, it is, yeah, uh, it is interesting, yeah, uh, it's uh, discussion because I I have read the Grammen Bank book. I think it's ten years ago. <laughs> ten years ago, <laughs> and uh, ten years ago or eight years ago, but it is very long uh, time. I have read it, and I'm inspired uh, the concept. Inspiring or inspired the concept. Uh, <laughs> Inspiring, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, inspiring the concept because yeah, uh, he can change uh, the situation uh, based on look around and what can I do, like that. And they do something that change the world like that. However, okay, it is in one country, but the concept is practicing in many country, and. Right. And yeah, I think it is very, very good. Apa ya, person. It is, yeah. If uh, he got a Nobel, I think yeah, yeah. He 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 got it. Uh, good for her his job. I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well deserved. Very well deserved. Yeah. And for conclusion, I think. Uh, for conclusion uh, because yeah we one hours yeah <laughs> one hours we discuss it <laughs> maybe uh, yeah. you have a uh, conclusion or suggestion or what's like that or maybe you have still some apa, idea that you want to share like that yeah um, first of all thank you so much for um, letting me Uh, join the podcast today. I really do enjoy having these conversations. I feel like it's a great learning opportunity for myself um, because um, even though I am from Bangladesh, Grammen Bank, I know um, I knew a little bit about it, um, but obviously doing the research, I got to know more, and so it uh, really was a great learning experience for me. And I hope um, you know we can have more of these conversations and get to um, we both get to learn from it. In terms of ideas or suggestions I'm, I'm very uh, you know again it was a uh, growing bank is so inspiring and what Muhammad Yunus has done is so so inspiring and I hope more countries um, adapt the same idea and hopefully focus on people from you know uh, 
people from low socioeconomic backgrounds or people experiencing poverty because it's not you're not just going to be helping them you're going to be helping yourself by helping the country's economy and making it stronger and so you know it, it's a very big goal and a very big ask but i think if if your intentions are right and if you do genuinely want to help then it's definitely achievable so yeah hopefully um in a more of like uh, countries with high poverty rates and uh people from uh, low socioeconomic backgrounds, um, if like the politicians or even just the, the public um, adapted the same idea, then um, I feel like, like the countries would be flourishing even more. So yeah, I hope they just adapt the same idea as Muhammad Yunus started with, because it's turned into something that's um, very, very beneficial to everyone. Yeah. Okay, thank you Nahian for your times and your apa uh, idea your sharing like that hopefully in different time we can still discussing ya yeah? maybe different yeah. time we we can apa do a dialogue again like that and Definitely. okay yeah whoever your finish your apa uh, intern this week ya yeah? yeah. it yeah, is this. still continue to discuss <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Okay, thank you Nahian. Uh, thank you everyone. Thank you Masukan. Okay, salam dari Jogja to apa? Uh, untuk Perth. Perth. Yeah, Perth. <laughs> yeah. Selamat siang from Perth. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, terima kasih uh, Nahian. Uh, terima kasih teman-teman uh, sahabat volunteer corner Mitra Wacana semua. Uh, ini tadi dialog dengan Nahian dengan apa topiknya Grammen Bank. Nanti teman-teman bisa lihat di apa YouTube uh, di YouTube nanti ada ininya uh, tulisan Inggrisnya. Ini kalau bingung ininya pakai Google Translate. <laughs> Kira-kira gitu. Oke, okay, uh, terima kasih, terima kasih Mas Robi uh, di balik layar. <laughs> <laughs> di balik layar ini. Oke, okay, sampai ketemu lain waktu. Terima kasih Nayan. See you. Terima kasih. Thank you. See you.